Okay, here we go. This is the final part of the project. Look at this book. So, because I've done it myself, it's easy to see the imperfections, and it's still easy to see how beautiful it is. So, I'm going to focus on how beautiful it is. I have a decision to make. Which side is going to be the front cover? So, I'm going to pick the side that looks the best to be the front. Um, okay, so let's clear which one looks the best. This one's definitely got a lot going on. So this is the front. And um, so all I have to do now is I'm going to put my yes medallion on there, my embellishment. Thank you, Juanita. But before I do that, I have got to go in and cut out all of my little extra strings. These were the strings that I put on uh, to bind the each individual book to the spine, the cardboard spine that I put in. So as I do this, I'll show you the pages. Oh, this, see, this one got a little too stuck, but like I said, it's imperfect. So these stitches will stay because it's holding the book together. I'm just trimming the edges. So there's my first subject, and there's the back. Here's my second subject. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to go in the middle here and trim back, stitch. And I'll try to, well, next time I do a book like this, I will... Um, you know, demonstrate. Juanita showed me the technique of how to stitch it, so I will show you that next time. Um, so here's the second one. Here's the third one. It's hard to see the little like fleur de lis sort of pattern or something in here. <clears throat> Trimming back all of the extra strings so they don't hang out. Oh, here's the, f the fourth book. They're all complementary colors, but a little different. You can see here, some, I'm not looking at the imperfections again, but you can see the cardboard. If I could do this again, I would turn the cardboard to the white side, but whatever. Okay, so here is some more string in my fourth subject of my book. Fourth subject of my notebook, I should say. Okay, and then the last, but not least, one of my favorite ones, ta-da! So beautiful. And I'm gonna cut this. And I'm gonna cut this. And I'm gonna cut this. Oops. And so now, and here's the back side. This actually looks pretty, this actually looks great. So if I was gonna make this the front cover, that would work. But this just didn't, you know what, I didn't, um, I used, I didn't use this great brush, I used a crappy foam brush, so I recommend using a better brush too, that didn't help. But, so this is the front, and I'm going to take my yes, and I'm going to pin it right here. And I'm going to use this stinky glue again, because I think it'll be better, uh, a better holding glue. But I, I'm really proud of myself for finishing this project, I'm more of a person that, you know, starts a project more than finishes a project. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, I finish important things that, you know, especially when other people are involved. But to sit alone and do a project is pretty, pretty, pretty impressive, for, in my opinion. So, where should my yes go? I think I like that right there. Yes. So I guess I'll just hold it there for a few seconds. And this is also a, um, a clear drying glue, although I wouldn't want to paint the whole thing with it. So, there we go. Yes. Oh, I really like it. I really, really like it. So, that's not finished. I'm going to actually put a couple of coats of Mod Podge on it to um, shellac it to the book. But. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty much in love with this. Um, okay, so let me get my Mod Podge out. So the book is still a little tacky to the, oh shoot, that's a lot. Uh, it's still a little tacky to the touch. Uh, and when it's completely non-tacky and ever, ever so dry, I am going to uh, put a uh, the vice uh, grip back on it. It's over there on the counter. Uh, I'm going to put that vice back on it and sort of hold it all together. And skew it a little because you can see my back cover is you know longer than my front cover so I want to skew it and then I'm going to vice grip it 
and hold it. I think it'll work because it's still pretty flexible. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little Mod Podge. I took too much Mod Podge. That's okay. And my brush is dried. Yeah. So anyway, imperfect. And I'm putting a clear. It looks doesn't look clear, but it will dry clear. Um, this brush is definitely not working. <laughs> oh boy, I cracked myself up. So I think I have to wash my brush and uh, and then try it again because it's not really doing well. Maybe it is doing what I want it to do well enough. I just want to make sure it dries clear and I have my yes in the middle of my notebook. So I will be back at, in, to show you the finished product. So here it is, the finished product, my notebook. I'm pretty proud. You can see that I stuck the yes uh, medallion on. It looks beautiful. I put a little shellac over it. Um, it's pretty solid feeling. It feels it feels like love. So um, you know this is unfortunate, but that's not so bad. Uh, all my beautiful vellum pages, all my booklets are intact, stitched together, stitched to each other. So happy with it. Um, and here's the final one in back. So here's the back cover. So it's um, because it I shellacked it with glue. It is hopefully going to be sturdy and you know relatively waterproof. It will last a long time. I want to write in it, but I kind of also think it should go in a museum, museum of beautiful things. But um, I'm really proud of what I did. It was really powerful to go from um, sitting with a friend with some paper and an idea and creating something that I love. And it's so functional, I can't wait to use it. So thank you for watching.